Hi guys. So do you remember the song girls? Yes, yes, yes. I know I'm not Prince. I'm just helping him drag your attention. But really, do you remember the song girls? Oh. It was this column on page three of the Daily Sun newspaper that oh. I got. Oh, it's fine. I can handle it from here. You don't need to do this anymore. Okay, when I was younger, a means of knowing what was happening around the world were true newspapers. No, no one cares about them now, but back then, it was the main thing. Uh, we are here at the newspaper stand in Ilele in Keto Axis this morning. So what I would do is this. I would leave my house, change my shirt to a black shirt, go to the newspaper stand and watch people argue. And let me tell you, back then, all you heard were degenerate takes about society. Now, what is your message to our youth nowadays? Because People feel our youth, they are too um, hedonistic. By that, I mean that they like too many pleasures. So we prefer to go sit down in the beer parlor, eat pande diem, and eat. You take away, you take away our pleasure and more. Yes, sir. If you give us a sense of contamination. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, the good old days, man. Then after that, I would go to a game house and, and play PES. And, uh, and I loved it. Why won't you love it, Press? That's what you like. Is that not what you like? Why won't you love it? Stop, 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 young lady. Go, go, leave. <laughs> but something kept on standing out for me, and it was the third page of the Daily Sun newspaper. I don't know when this started because Nigerians never save records of anything. But on the third page of the Daily Sun newspaper, they had what will be known as the Sun Girls. And let me tell you, I was hooked. I would always go to the newspaper stand to look at the girls. I did not have money to pay for newspapers, so I, so I waited for someone to finish. Then, then I check it. <laughs> and, and you still failed in school. Did you not fail in school, Prince? Yes, I did. You see, the Daily Sun newspaper has nothing to do with the sun in the UK. Yes, they probably have the same logos, but they are different. They are only similar in some mission statements, and one of them is to make young people love the print media again. They will try their best. <laughs> and they will do this by using girls. And honestly, the person that came up with this is a very smart guy. The only difference is that the UK version were more risque. Half of the pictures I saw, I can't even show you because YouTube will slap my channel. <laughs> but we have the Nigerian version. And let me say, <laughs> we have some questionable babes. This one is <laughs> okay, discovering something for sure. <laughs> can't even deny. I love the shirt. Celebrity. <laughs> Red yellow only the brave can attempt this and she pulled it off she wasn't interested honestly uh, a singlet <laughs> why slay just slay she's doing well she looks nice okay, okay I, I think you get the point not everyone was a smash hit but i love them all back and initially i wondered why these girls wanted to do this then i saw these photos and i immediately understood they did this to become stars and when you see actual stars being sun girls why wouldn't i want to be as far back as 2008 this guy was spot on with what he said sun girls was the idea of the british tabloid to put models in their page trick and nigerians stole the idea but instead of putting stunning girls they put shoe like man <laughs> no put us an email. In Kichi and Amina, a harsh comment, and I don't appreciate it, but at least all tribes got the smoke. But honestly, I would like to end the video at this point with all the goods that came out of it. But it's Nigeria, so you know nothing good lasts. Every girl that appeared consented to putting their number out there. But you see, when you put ladies in any situation to get attention from men, it never ends well. Bad! I saw the paper today, saved the number and added her through the number on WhatsApp. That's what I have been doing since January. You need to read my chat history in WhatsApp. Almost 100 models as friends. Can you imagine the amount of harassment some of these ladies faced from doing just this? Again, this isn't the son's fault. Society is just messed up. 
From your observations, do you really think these ladies who grace the front page are beautiful enough? Looking for boyfriends? Sugar daddies? Sponsors? Have you ever dialed their numbers? Cause sometime in the past, I used to strike conversations with some. But if you think this is bad, get ready for this. In May 25th, 2016, a student from a Delta Polytechnic school accused the Daily Sun of unauthorized and illegal use of her photograph. Allegedly, I don't want to be sued. <laughs> please, please, allegedly. And she initially wanted one billion naira. That will never happen. I can already predict how this goes. It will never happen. She stated that she wanted this because the publication caused her a significant emotional distress, including the breakup of her five-year-long relationship with her fiancé due to the embarrassment the picture your cost to her. Damn! It doesn't end there, guys. In 2013, it was reported that the boyfriend came back. Oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> she got compensated 5.5 million for the damages. Not a billion. But it was just something. And her boyfriend came back. I lied. That, that guy is far gone. That guy is far gone. Was this a good idea? Having girls on their platform? No one knows. They wanted to spice up a dying media. And I can't hate them for trying. And At the end, end of the day, Prince, you still failed your school. Anyway, thanks, guys, for watching. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe and no like comment and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you bye and you failed in school prince you failed in school yes i did yes i did <laughs>